Well, are you guys doing good tonight? Yeah! Good. Okay, in today's sermon, we're going to be talking about anger. And you know how some of us could be angry at times. Anger, from www.dictionary.com. What it describes it as, a strong feeling of displeasure and warlike attitude aroused by a wrong, wrath, or ire. Its synonyms are dissatisfaction, disgust, hatred, outrage, storm. Its antonyms are agreeability, joy, happy, peace, calm, and content. Now, there's, a, there's only three types of anger. The first type, they see it coming, but they ignore it. They are angry, but they do not let anger sink in. They push it off and they avoid it as if it had never happened. Now, this is for the type of people, like, they see it coming, but they don't want to deal with it. You know, it's not their own problem. You know, they just don't want to be stressed out by what's coming at them. They s Number two is they see it coming, and then they do get angry. Anger is allowed to be seeped in into the heart. This causes destruction. Sometimes it's like long-term anger, like for someone, like a teen, you know? Um, father has abused her for, for a number of uh, X years, and then her father dies. Still, that girl could be angry at her father, even though he was dead for about, what, 10 years? And you're still angry about it. So that's number two, and it can separate you from God. Number three is outbursts. This one is the most common in today's world. Anger is a major blowout. You know, people just explode. You know, you light the fuse, and then they explode. Violent reaction. You notice how you get a bomb, and then you get a violent reaction, a violent explosion. Can hurt, injure, or even worse, can kill somebody. Now, this is where some people um, um, get angry, and they get mad, and they start cussing and fussing and all that kind of stuff. And what they might do, they might say something that might hurt somebody, or they can injure somebody, you know, punching them out, or killing somebody with a knife. Now, you're probably like, now you're probably like, how can I control my anger? Well, good good thing that you asked. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to confess it. You know, you gotta tell somebody, you know, call somebody up, call your friend in class, you know. Tell somebody that you're angry. At least you're getting it off your, uh, off you, you know. You know what I mean? So, in essence, you know, you gotta tell somebody that you're angry. If you don't tell somebody that you're angry, you know, it's just gonna keep on building upside you. And then you're gonna have a bad stinking attitude all day. Number two, you gotta identify where it's coming from. What provokes you the most? What provokes you? Is it sex before marriage? Is it lying? Is it cheating? It could be anything that could provoke you or anything that gets you mad. Number three, take a time out. Visualize a stop sign. Chill down, you know? You gotta chill. You gotta think. You you, you just gotta vent out. You know, if you have to uh, punch a pillow or something like that, you just get your anger out. Or punch a punching bag or something like that, do it. Just chill. Take a stop sign and, and, and just stop in your tracks. Now, if someone's talking crap about you or cussing you out, let them say what they have to say and then respond. But think this, WWJD, what would Jesus do? Are you going to respond violently, cussing them back out and not looking like an example of God's child? Or, you are going to hold back and be respectful and douse out the flames with respect, responding calm, and re representing God. You know, wh which one are you going to do? I know some people out there have a hard time, you know, keeping it chill. You know, you can't fight fire with fire. You got to fight the water with fire because eventually you'll douse it out. If you look in James 1, 9, James chapter 1, verse 19, in the King James Version, it says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. And in the new international version understand this my dear brothers and sisters you must all be quick to listen so to speak and slow to get angry okay in essence they're saying you gotta be quick to hear slow to speak and slow to anger all right see here's what here here's what god's talking about all right say someone's coming back come, coming back to you and, you know, they cuss you out, and, you know, everything like that. Or, in better essence, someone's talking gossip, right? You're quick to hear. You can't be slow to hear, because if you're slow to hear, you might miss something. 
But you got to be quick to hear. You have to be slow to speak. You got to wait until they finish what they're saying. Slow to anger. Now, if it gets you angry quick, then it gets you angry quick. There is no doubt about that because anything that is not right could get us angry. Some people don't get quick, quick angered as normal people do. Normal people really get angry, but some people get angry slowly, getting like getting accused of something they didn't do. They, they don't seem angry. They say, oh, no, I'm not angry. They're just keeping that inside. They are angry, but they're just not letting it show. They're not letting their feelings show. Well, this is our sermon about anger, and you hope you have a blessed day.